All right, boys and girls. I don't know where this video is or when, <clears throat> but it's time to adjust my spring constant. Yay! Petter's suspension is in. Car looks mean as hell. We set it up and I drove out here 400 miles to God's country, New York, and the rear end is still scraping a bit. The suspension helped. The tires stick out a lot. I get a little rubbing here, and the rubbing's not going to go away with the spring constant change, but the ass of this car is so big, it just needs to be dealt with. Big fat ass on her. Long wheelbase G8, essentially Caprice. So, I've already jacked it up and broke these off, and GM actually flushed my brakes, so they took off these tires, and then they didn't tighten them very good, because they didn't have a struggle of taking off these lug nuts at all. And they're supposed to be torqued to 140. I put those wrenches just now here. Wrenches, I need, why is there only one wrench? There better be two wrenches in my glove compartment or shit's gonna be bad news bears. I need this paper towel. There it is. That would've sucked. All right. Chalk your wheels. Luckily there's a big pile of firewood and there's two perfect chocks. I let the car roll forward in neutral, it landed there, put it back in park because the emergency brake will only hold it up if the wheels are touching, and both rear wheels are off the ground so the car would have just like, <sighs> on the jack. Wenchith, lug nuts, I don't like dropping them on the floor, I've lost too many things just dropping them on the floor. Oh, there it goes. Now I'm on like loose gravel or dirt and you really should never jack a car up, especially on uneven loose gravel dirt. But um, well here we are. Where there's nothing but, the only place is asphalt is the street and cars are going by at like a hundred miles an hour. So you do what you must because you can. 285 is in the rear. I need a little tree. Yeah. TSW hole shots, no longer sold. And there's my right adjustment. I'm trying to get my head under here. There's my spring constant adjustment is this. <sighs> Shit, that's gonna be right in the way of that. Basically, I gotta loosen this bottom nut, then I can crank the top nut up a certain number of rotations and put the bottom nut back up. All right, and the only thing holding the car up right now is the jack, a little one and a half ton troop power. I'll Amazon link that because that I'm I need to uh, trust that. Don't have jack stands. I guess I could have put a piece of wood under it. Usually would slide the tire under it in case it comes down, but those are expensive. I don't want to crush them. If I put them face down. It won't crush the. F uh, it's, it's messed up. Do I have anything else? Oh, wait, I have what I have. The bro dozer here should have my spare tire in it. How does this thing work? This 200 year old tonneau cover. There we go. Yes. I needed to bring two spare tires. Here's, here's, are you wanna know about learning problems? So, front of the car has 255s. Rear of the car, 285s. Both 40 profile, which makes the rear tires, this is a stock original tire from the cop car. That tire is like an inch bigger, higher. And if I blew out a front tire, I have a spare like this and I could just replace it. And it's fine because it's the same height and it's the front. Rear wheel drive car with a center differential the left, the left and rear tires have to, have to be the same size. So if I blew one of those, and I put one of these on there, it breaks shit. So I had to bring a second one, which uh, I thought it was nice enough. It was nice enough to throw it in the back of his truck for me. Because there's a whole nother full size spare under that. All right, I feel better now. If this gives, it'll just give and crush that.
This is, I just gotta loosen. And I just have to loosen with this, I don't have to disassemble it. By the way, kneeling on gravel, greatest feeling ever. I mean, I'm practically fully erect. Brought out a big magic marker. We're gonna mark the top nut here. And I'm gonna count the rotations. And I'm gonna match it on the other side. <laughs> All right, no, no, know what I'm gonna do first? No, no. Zeus works. He will do work. But Zeus wants to work in fucking comfort. So what we're gonna do is we're going to steal my floor mats. Both of them. Pretty much. I need to kneel on something that's not pure fucking gravel. Dude, those are fucking That's gorgeous. serious business. Go look at my dead pedal mod. <laughs> oh, God. No, I, I get it, though. That totally works. It's, it's, but mine is, like, at least that far forward stock. So I can't put another thing in front of it. I just have to live with it. That's, see, the I just have to live with it is why people don't invent the wheel <laughs> or better things than fire. I'll talk to Grim Speed and get him to make an aftermarket part. All right, I'm looking to undo... I'm pretty sure, because these are going to be, which way are they threaded? Threads look like they're tilted that way, so I want to come down. It's going to be this way. Wow, that is really in the way. Okay. I just have to loosen this one, then I can hand crank it off. As soon as I figure out how to do that. Oh, wow. Okay. That didn't require any, um... Wrench. That bad? Yeah, we drove the shit out of these cars yesterday. So now, cranking up the constant, I'm gonna go forward. Can I clear that? I can, thank God. Ah. Crap, I just spun the entire ride height. I gotta tighten this bottom one down, which is officially the worst fucking thing ever. Oh my God, please don't fall on my arm. How am I gonna tighten you down? I gotta tighten this one. Oh, Jesus. I need to go back here. Oh, my Lord. Lord, hear my prayers. Can I even get? This is a... Wow, my hands couldn't be more in like the worst position possible for safety. One. Yeah, this, is, this should lock down this from rotating. <clears throat> Two. Okay. Let's try jacking up the ride height, the uh, spring constant again. Good. There we go. This is what real men do, by the way, boys. How many rotations of that fucking mark am I going for is the question. So here it is already, but it spun a little bit. So now I'm gonna go off of here being the center. So that's one, one rotation. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. Save you guys some fucking effort. I could curse all day. I'm gonna shut it off. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say six rotations Six threads? How high is six threads? Because that's how much you're, you're increasing the spring constants. How many threads are you going up? Five. I'm going to do five rotations. Lock it up and then I'll go the other side. Oh God, it's fucking... All right, I did six rotations. My mark is now back here. My palm is killing me because this wrench is like that wide. That's going to suck. I'm going to do the other side too. Now, my brother also says I should do... Fuck. I hate when these don't stay. I really need to. What's it called? On that. I knew I should have got a goddamn. What's it called? Strap. Strap on. I think they're called strap ons. You can search those online. He says adjust the actual shock values up a few clicks from, to hard. So. One, two, 
three. I believe it's the same right turn to hard on the rears on this one, so it's like one, two, three. All right, and that's it. This side's done. I gotta just tighten up the. Do the shocks too. Yeah, I did three notches up on both because this, this is net thing is just literally click and yeah. you're done. Someone could fuck up your shit if they knew you had these and they hated you. <laughs> they could just turn them to soft and then your shit would just. Smack your gas tank it would bounce like a fucking balloon. It would just be springs. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm turning the whole book at the end. Ah. Stop him! Right, go back in here. Which way am I turning? No, I want to tighten down. Uh, okay. Three clicks on rebound and and the other one. I'm too tired to think. Now pretty much the shittiest part of the entire job is getting the tire to line back up. Let's try to like eyeball that. Hi Reflection, how you doing? These are actually lighter than that tire, even at 285. Those were the stock tires in this car, 235, 50, 18, 235. Well, actually, that truck's at 285. That truck has these tires. Oh, it smells like rubber. Like, it smells like model car rubber because it's so fucking soft. Come on, you fuck. He's got to get one, and then you can rotate. I hate doing this part. My plastic centering ring is on there, that's good. Get the loogies. I don't think you actually have to watch me put this back together. But if I, if I show you this side, I don't have to show the other side, so fuck it. Just get one on there to hold it. I usually push the bottom. And these lug nuts stick out too far. In the front, they're flush because the offset's different. I got the wider offset, but we guessed, and it's a, that's why I'm getting this rubbing right here. We had to fold the fender here, but we can't do it where it meets the plastic. Full review of this car coming at some point. I'm not sure if I want to do it before or after the exhaust is gone and the camshaft has changed. So far, it's... Coilovers, rims and tires, obviously, and I change all the brakes out to slotted stop techs with my uh, pads were custom ordered from a place called ctbrakes.com, Cryotech, not associated with the CryEngine. If anyone's going to teach you how to tighten a tire, it's going to be me. So I'm gonna fucking teach you right. Give it a wiggle. Now, <clears throat> you should and can and should use a torque, an actual torque wrench so you can measure the torque constant because these tires call for 140 PSI, 140 foot pounds of crank. Get them snug. And here's what you do you got five, you do a star. You know when you draw a star? You never go one, two, three, four, five, because then it'll be tight here, and you'll never get the other side to be tight. And you do, you do a little baby one. It's a little baby one. Then you go back to the beginning. More. More. I gotta drop it a little bit. I don't lose my place. Uh. This jack doesn't exactly have. The most fine release, so. Come on, there we go. Just 
just till it touches. Tighten it. One, two, three, four, five. And you could do it again if you really feel like it. I mean, it's only holding your fucking wheel on. So, I'll pay no attention to it. Okay. Craftsman. And this is a great tool because you can turn it like that and if you go the, the woo real fast, if you really feel like it. Thank God it's cold out. I didn't didn't you missed one side. Oh, but I missed everything. You gotta learn these people how to weld. These people don't know jack shit about welding. Other side here. You know what I fucking have? Let me, um, let me get my keys so I can uh, Love this little baby, man. Alright. When you jack up a car, jackasses. You need to figure out where to do it. There's a big body mount bolt right there, so that's where we're going. And I was considering jacking it up with this jack straight, but then I realized this is like a sled and it might slide forward. So I'm giving it a little bit of rank. Tighten it. Get it up so you could adjust it. Where are you? Perfect. Perfect little It's gonna slide around a little bit because the jack goes up and the bottom has to move forward. Oh, I'm not gonna make sure the rubber's hitting. Loosen the lug nuts first. Of course, if it's off the ground, you can't. Now let's see if they're as loose as they were on the fucking other side. Actually, these are better. That one was better at least. So they should all be hand loose at this point. Yeah. Leave the bottom one as you're taking them off, or the tire will kink out. See. This is the part you saw from, so we're just gonna do the same thing on this side. Do. Do. Oh, the tire's not off the ground all the way. Hold on. Is it off? Yeah. Let me do one more crank. There you go. Now it's off. Honestly, this tire was off the ground when I cranked the other side up. Yep, it was. 100%. Here. Oh. I like how much sand you have in your room. Oh, yeah. I noticed that, like, the first fucking gas station. You see the, uh... You adjust both sides already, or just one? Uh, yeah. Well, here, Phil was not willing to uh, go any further than this. It's the only place it's hitting is right here. Oh, let me get my mat. Crank up the, uh, the shocks. I put three notches on both to hard, so I'm sure I'll be. The shocks on. Yeah, the shocks are. Don't don't do the shocks till last. Okay. Here, F here. F see what Phil did up here, and this right here is where it's hitting. Hobo. Right oh yeah, I see. It. It's actually removed the paint. Well, I don't mind removing the paint. I, he, he's worried because this is where the plastic and metal. With what? Wait, Chris, because the last time you did this, you came to Sushi's apartment and you dropped a drill through his television. I'm going to fix this right now. He was in the, I was building the projection screen for literally months around Sushi's equipment, being all nice and considerate. He shows up for one day. He's like, I can fix this. And fucking just destroys everything. I might as well get the tools and start. I don't know what he's planning to do, so. I actually have my oscillating tool and everything, but I don't. What are you doing? I'm gonna hit it. With what? No, you're gonna bend on my metal fucking no, thing. Do it. Do oh. it. He's got. Oh, God. Oh, 
always pinching this. I trust Phil to do this. Because if Phil could afford to pay me for a new car if he fucks it up. Give me a new car if you fuck it up. Whole body panel. It's fine. Are you sure that's it? No. <laughs> it needs more, but it's better than what it was. Well, keep going. Here, take this one. Wait, take this. Actually, there's an even bigger axe on a pile of wood. There is a giant axe on that. Pile. Yeah, if it's you need. It's not sharp though. I tried to use it. Uh, it's a splitting it's axe. It's supposed to be splitting. Yeah, but no. I'll try to make the. <laughs> no, I just gotta mark it first. Here we go again. You didn't touch the shocks, did you? No. I'll do those now. Be a nice One, two, three. Yeah, but you never know where it's going to be pointing. So you'd always you just make... Your finger, there was like a raise and yeah. Hard is... One, two, three. Okay, I hope I did that the right direction. Yeah, it should be... Yeah, I turned, turned it clockwise. Clockwise, yes. Let's see how fucked up the... I'm gonna attempt to tighten the ride height adjustment first. Do the dangerous part. Come on, you fuck. Ow. If you don't say ow while you're doing car work, you're doing car work like a pussy bitch. Okay. Am I gonna catch that? No. This one's actually tight. The spring is actually. Oh, the one that holds the spring is. There we go. Tighter than the other side. Let's knock that out of the way. Alright. See, now the issue is the other side I was pushing, which is fine. Now we're pulling, which is gonna be less fine. Oh, I gotta, where's my, oh, go get the PB brake stuff before I grind more dirt into the, into the fucking threads. Uh, you got a hose. You can actually just hose the dirt off. No, it's, it's just finite bullshit. I just want to make sure there's, it's not grinding it. Yeah, but you're, like, you're going to attract more stuff like that. Oh, I did the other side, so now it's going to be even bullshit. There we go. Yeah, so we have the exact same breaking bar, but mine's better. Fuck. Mine's made in USA on Fuck you. Suck fucking harder. How many full rotations did you do? Six. Wow, you're crazy. <sighs> it, it, it needed it. It's just going in. I wouldn't be shocked if it needed more. I wouldn't be shocked. <laughs> get down here and fucking crank this, you and fucks. Get, it. <laughs> get up. Let me do it. Hold on. All right, hold on. Let me get at least the first one out. Then I could watch someone else suffer. Okay, it's this first one out. Uh, what the? F you gotta have a truck like a He doesn't need that. Yeah. He's got 20 year old shocks. Shocks aren't. The shocks are like the first thing I fix on that truck. Like every year, just try different shocks. Come on. Make sure to sub your brake lines as well. I'm working on it, buddy. That's one. That's one. How many more? Five? Five more full rotations. Thank you. This is socks, by the way. In the future, he will make videos and teach you how to weld. You've been only doing it for like what? 10 years, 11 years? Yeah, like four months. Uh, I don't want to, it's solid after. Solid, solid three minutes learn how to weld. <laughs> Although, honestly, I think Hyboto is the savant at it. He's just, he's like, I never welded before. Perfect beads he and shit. He certainly puts a lot of weld down, that is for sure. It's because his mother is his sister. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you got that. I'm gonna stop filming now. Everything's gotta go back now. By the way, if you keep a jack in your trunk, you get to keep this son of a bitch in your trunk for beating ass, which will actually come apart. If you wanted to, I'm not taking it apart, but. Officer, it's from my jack, officer. The ax is harder to deal with. Now this has to go, which way did I have it in there? Aluminum, fucking God bless aluminum. Do I have it wheels back? I think I had it wheels back. Come on, he's good. He's good. Yes, Anakin. There we go. One, two, and then these things. 
you know, I, I, I laughed at them because it's just Velcro on a piece of plastic. The ass kicking this car did on those turns yesterday at 70 miles an hour, these, these things should have all failed. And they don't. Everything is just perfect. Good. good, good. Uh, I don't want that scratching up my shit. What? That's there. I gotta organize everything. Put the axe there. So the car looks ridiculous right now because we had it up, and the wheels when you drop a car should spread apart, but they just they don't won't. So my car is on a super rake angle. Oh my god, the garbage! And I gotta put this here, or if I'm wearing shorts, my leg hits that and it's annoying. Bimmer seats, ones in perfectly and permanently. That one we didn't cut the humps out. So Brodo and I gotta take that one out, dis destroy the bottom of the car, and then remount it. Oh God. Hood needs to be changed because some asshole in Atlantic City jumped on it. Bottle of rubbing alcohol for cleaning things. Check, check make sure you have your key. That's important. In case we go grocery shopping on this. Drive, you remember this. The build for this magnets work great, by the way. One, two, roll of tape. I just leave this on, because this is the tool that takes off the regular lug nuts, and this also one uses the adapter, so why bother putting it back on the rack? And these. Nail rated helmet. Your pressure's good. See ya. So your pressure's good. My, I have the sensor, so it reads fine. Yeah. All right. One. So toolbox. That. Where's the other? There it is. I'll link to these as well because they're fucking. That's it. Double stick tape, lights, drill bits, change of clothes and a thing. Just trying to make it so that things can't really slide around too badly. That's good. That's good. Rags for when I clean it, gloves. All right. Key, again, check key. Close it without touching the paint. Oh, I can wash the car. I can wash the car. I can wash the car. Oh, that's a fast knob. I'm obsessed with washing this car. Now I just gotta get it clean. All right, I'm gonna go uh, spray this down. Just one tire, just piss them off. Just one tire. It's like I pissed on it. All right, I'm gonna do thing now. I'll talk later. Bye.